question from our viewer was, will the implementation of Obamacare and its added cost to the healthcare industry place a strain on the health insurance industry to the point that they will find themselves cutting QA activities, quality assurance activities, to make ends meet, or have their quality programs proven to be a value-added activity that has been an indispensable element of continual cost-cutting efforts. And on the phone with us right now, uh, to hopefully answer that question is Paul Cotton, Director of Federal Affairs for the NCQA. Hey, Paul, how are you doing? Good, how are you, Dirk? Oh, pretty good. So what about that question? Will uh, the uh, Affordable Care Act, or Obamacare as it's uh, now being called by, I guess, both sides of the aisle, will that actually um, improve the quality of health care, in your opinion? It will. The statute has a number of provisions that are designed to help health plans and providers improve the quality of care. For example, all health plans will now have to have quality improvement programs. Uh, the law is going to set up state health insurance exchanges to expand coverage to people who can't afford it today. And in these state health insurance exchanges, there are very uh, specific requirements for the plans on quality. First of all, they have to have accreditation based on their local performance on clinical quality and patient experience of care measures. And those are both going to be posted on the website in report cards that are going to help uh, people who are choosing plans make a plan not just on the low premium, but on which plan is actually providing the best value for the premium dollar. That's going to encourage the plans to compete, again, not just on a cheap premium, but on a high quality, high value plan. That's going to drive quality up throughout the system that will improve all the other plans. In the Medicare Advantage program, very specifically, uh, it also has some very powerful patient performance incentives that have been implemented. Uh, before the law was passed, all the uh, Medicare Advantage plans received more than it cost to care for their enrollees in the traditional Medicare program. What the new law does is roll back those excess payments across the board and instead only provide bonuses to those plans that have high quality scores. And again, those plans that get those high quality scores are going to get those bonuses that will enable them to have lower cost sharing, lower premium, extra benefits. That's going to make them more competitive in the market. We are already seeing in our own evaluation of the HEDIS numbers this year and in the star ratings that Medicare announced earlier this month that the plans have really stepped up to the plate and improved the quality of care because now their uh, bonus payments aren't tied to their clinical quality and patient experience scores. So again, there's just a number of provisions in the law that are promoting quality and making a good, solid business case for plans to continue these very, very important and effective quality improvement programs. Well, Paul, I guess, I guess uh, backing up a little bit is, particularly on the Medicare aspect of it, is um, kind of hearkening back to what the, uh, maybe what I think the, the, uh, the viewer was, was questioning, is if the, if the Medicare payouts are, are less, do you think there's gonna be, in some cases, rather than uh, trying to improve uh, efficiency and quality and so forth, that people will simply cut corners uh, because they're not gonna be getting the same amount of Medicare money? No, because if they cut those corners, they are going to have lower quality and patient experience scores. If they have low quality and patient experience scores, they will not get the bonus payments that they need to be most competitive. They won't be able to provide additional benefits, and they won't be able to have lower cost sharing and premium. That creates a very powerful market incentive for the plans to take these quality initiatives very seriously. And what we're seeing, both anecdotally from, from the plans that we talked to and in our evaluation of their scores, that they are starting to make some very uh, impressive improvements in quality because they really want those bonus payments based on their quality scores. Okay, so basically you're saying the feedback there in order to keep the system in check is if they cut corners, it's gonna show up in their quality scores. If it shows up in their quality scores, then one way or another, they're gonna end up paying for it. Yeah, at a competitive disadvantage. It's okay. using market forces to promote quality. Okay, well, Paul, thank you for joining us for a few minutes. It's an interesting topic, and I realize you're at an airport right now, so hopefully, uh, hopefully we'll, we'll be able to get back <laughs> to you and, and do a little bit more talking later on.